I been doing some tablet weaving, a craft that I said at the beginning of this year or the end of last year that I really wanted to learn. It's finally time. Now, what you just saw naturally wasn't my first try at this. That actually was this bit. which has this cool pattern on it, which Pinterest called Oseberg, because I think it's inspired by a bit of tablet weaving that was found in the Oseberg burial ship, but then very much simplified. And I chose this one because you only had to go front picks with your cards, which I thought at the time was a smart move because then, well, I only have to think about one thing, but I was wrong, I couldn't be more wrong, because then when you're only going one direction there is so much twist built up on your threads and I didn't know how to deal with that. I tried again and then apparently I thought I knew what S's and Z's, S and Z were, what the shape of that letter was, but um, apparently I did not, I completely messed up there again. So then I thought Oseberg might sound cool and I could have talked about the Oseberg ship in this video uh, but I will not right now because I just went for a very simple diamond pattern now because the twist that builds up in the warp threads gets naturally resolved because you have to go eight forward and then eight backwards. Up until now, I still know how to count to eight, which is something. <laughs> so this is what we have right now. Not too shabby. It's not an as pretty medieval pattern as the Oseberg was. I mean, probably is a medieval pattern people in the Middle Ages will have used this maybe, but it doesn't give as much medieval vibes. It looks a bit more tribal, you know, but um, the plant dyed colors will look rather nicely on the very orange dress, I think. My test run is finished and yes, scratch all what I have said before, this will be just a test run. Because while beautiful, it also has many mistakes. Because of course that is what you do when you do stuff for the first time, you make mistakes. And now I am going to learn from these mistakes and make a better one. But I am really actually really proud of this bit of tablet weaving. And I must say that tablet weaving, in my opinion, is even more zen and wholesome and relaxing than rigid headloom weaving. Now, the Oseberg ship burial, that, that wasn't leaving me alone. The historian that I am, even the medievalist that I am, I really want to make decorative trim for my new Renfair dress that has some historical inspiration. So, of course, I went on a Google search that went beyond the first page for some historical easy tablet weaving patterns. 
Now, what saucy, spicy, beautiful, gorgeous result did my external Google search come up with? Well, I found three patterns that I liked on the Tablet Weaving for Dark Age Reenactors site, which is... First off, of course, because the Ozeberg ship as being a super cool burial of two high-standing women, which are probably weavers, because their works and progresses were buried with them. <sighs> it's the Oseberg pattern. I also found one that was made up from uh, grave finds in Birka, also 9th or 10th century. And then one that is actually not medieval, but I'm really inclined to be trying this one. It's an Iron Age, a late Iron Age motif. It just looks awesome. That, that, that's, that's my only explanation. It just looks awesome. I also haven't told you about my cards. I got these from Etsy. They're just wooden cards. Nothing really special about them. Small cards with four holes in them. But what was special was the way they got delivered. That was so cool. I instantly geeked out over it. I still have it. This is, you could also, you could kind of say this is my fiber diary, but I'm not really uh, consistent in doing it. And this was on the envelope. Can you see? Of course, I immediately went googling for them and these are Latvian good luck symbols. How cool! Yes, you can get me excited very easily with stuff like that. really going to plan. First I had this weird bit where I only made triangles and diagonal lines and I just thought that I was missing or misinterpreting a part of the pattern. And then over here I made the stupid mistake of going to fetch my camera and then forgetting what part of the pattern I was on. And now it looks like this. And that is still not what it's supposed to look like, actually. So yeah, I'm a bit worried now because the Ren Fair I am going to is in exactly a week. <sighs> I better start over. Zen, what is this relaxing part I was talking about? I am not giving up on this. Okay, I lied. I did give up on a couple of things. Firstly, I gave up on aesthetic outside shots because frankly, it's raining right now. Secondly, I gave up on using my precious hand dyed wool because I was failing over and over again and... Question, answer me in the comments. How good are you at failing? Because I suck at it. 
I am horrible when it comes to dealing with failure. So I also gave up on the pattern I was using and instead thought like, well, it can't be worse than what I was doing already. So I tried the Birka pattern, which looked a lot more daunting, but actually is going pretty well. I have replaced my hand dyed yarns with these very colorful, high contrast cotton yarns. I don't know if I will use this as the end product permanently on my medieval dress, but for now, for the scope of this video, this is the tablet weaving trim that we are making. I'm going to show you right now where I'm at. I don't know how the colors are looking on the screen, especially with the very colorful background that is my tablecloth, but the snaking pattern is showing quite clearly even though it's not as nice stitches as on the example but probably that's because of the yarn I'm using. I made a slight hiccup over here but because I don't have to flip any cards in this pattern I could easily remedy it by counting back where my cards in which position they should be. Pizza, bruh. Seriously, when are you going to buy me a pizza, bruh? Ah, my Birka tablet woven trim is done. Is it perfect? Of course not. But am I over the moon happy with it? Of course, yes. <laughs> it's not very long, but it will definitely be enough to finish the neck edge of my dress. And that was the right amount that I was going for. Now the yarn that I chose maybe wasn't the best yarn. While the colors are actually complementary colors, the shade of the yarn is so similar that sometimes it's a bit difficult to see the pattern on here. But also it does remind me a bit of like silver and gold thread, like luxurious silk threads, even though it's just blue and orange, very cheap cotton from my grandmom's stash. Let's finish this project by adding this to my dress. Now for some closing thoughts on my tablet woven trim over here. I made quite a lot of mistakes and uh, mostly in the part where you just had to keep your card straight and count to eight. Apparently my brain capacity is not large enough to do just that. The pattern also isn't as clear as I would like it to be. 
so probably in the near future I will try this again and make a new tablet woven trim for this medieval cut and then maybe actually use my um, naturally dyed yarns because these yarns, these chemically dyed machine spun cotton yarns, they do fit the color of my dress, but they're also a little bit... flashy? I don't know how I would describe it, but it, it's not what I was going for, although it is still pretty neat and pretty beautiful. You, you get that feeling? It's not what I had in my mind. It's nice, but I want that picture that I had in my mind. Tell me in the comments if you would like to see me retry this pattern. Or if you don't, tell me either way. So this was my first sewing project. Well, actually also with last week's video on this uh, channel. Tell me, what do you think of that? Is that something you would like to see more? Or are you more of a spinning and knitting fan, which is mostly my content? So if you're new here and think, oh my god, this is a cool uh, costumer sewist, maybe I could interest you in some other crafts as well. Whatever the case of your viewership, if you like these kind of fiber shenanigans, and maybe you could like, comment or subscribe, but of course that is all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in my next video. Bye!